الحمد لله نستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له ونشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله ارسله بالحق بشيرا ونذيرا بين يدي الساعه من يهدي الله ورسوله فقد رشد ومن يعصي الله ورسوله فان الله يضلل من شاء ولا يضلل الله شيئا أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد بارك وسلم Respected listeners The month of Rabi'ul Awal is here It reminds us of the most noble person who ever walked on the face of the earth of his birth, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also passed away in this month of Rabi'ul Awwal. The love of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah azza wa jal, embedded in all of our hearts. No matter how weak, how weak and weak our faces, that the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Nabiyu awlaadi mu'minina min anfusihim was wajibu mutahharat that the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is more closer to you than your own self says Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran implicitly Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us to love Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam more than our own self because he's closer to us than our own souls, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, La yu'minu ahmadu hatta yakunu That you will not be a true believer until you love me more than your parents, than your children, and everything that is in this world. That my love should be more than that. That is a command from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the command from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is that Rasulullah is more closer to us than our own selves. Rasulullah has become part of our worship even though we do not worship Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam but he takes his name in Adhan where even right now millions and millions of Muslims are taking the name of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the form of Azan, in the form of sending the room salawat to him. In, in, in Salah, in Dhikr, his name is not stop being taken no matter what. If some people who disbelieve in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his prophet try to point fingers to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it doesn't mean anything. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself says in the Quran, Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala al-nabi Ya ayyuh al-ladhina amun yusallu alayhi wa sallam wa that indeed truly Allah and his angels are continuously sending salams to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who all of you should also send salams to him. A man from a village come to Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam a badu and he says three things are very strange what you talk about, what you say O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam you say the entire Arabian Peninsula is going to read Kalima? I don't believe in that. I'm not going to read the Kalima. How can you say that the entire Arabian Peninsula is going to read the Kalima soon? And then he said, you're saying Persia and Roman Empire will be conquered by the Muslims pretty soon. You people don't even have enough food to eat. You're talking about the conquest of the superpowers of our time, Persia and Roman Empire. And number three, you say that there's a day of judgment. I don't believe in day of judgment. I do not believe in life after death when I become dust and dirt. <laughs> Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam held his hands in his blessed hands. And he said, may Allah give you a long life. Very soon you will see the entire Arabian Peninsula will really read the Kalima while you're alive. And he said, in your lifetime, you will see that the empires of Persia and Rome, the Eastern Roman Empire, will be conquered. And number three, on the day of judgment, when I will see you, I will hold your hand like this, and I will remind you, didn't I tell you those three things? 
The man from the village walks away and says, I do not believe in what you're saying. In very few years, Makkah is conquered, liberated. Entire Arabian Peninsula comes into the fold of Islam. And he sees the entire Arabian Peninsula meaning the Kalima Allah. Rasulullah passes away, the time of Abu Bakr radiya Allah comes, the conquests begin. Muslims are knocking on the doors of Eastern Roman Empire and Persian Empire. Comes Umar bin al-Khattab radiyallahu ta'ala after the demise of Abu Bakr Siddiq radiyallahu anhu. Persia is conquered. Eastern Roman Empire, Byzantine Empire is conquered. He comes to Umar radiyallahu ta'ala who is the leader of the believers at that time. He travels all the way from Mecca to Medina. And Umar radiyallahu ta'ala used to always, he comes to Umar radiyallahu and he says, O oh, Umar, your prophet showed me three things. I have seen two of the three. I have seen the er entire Arabian Peninsula and the Kalima. I have seen the contents of the Persian and Roman Empire and the treasures coming to Medina from those empires. Number three, the Day of Judgment. I'm sure I will see that too on the Day of Judgment. I, I know Rasulullah told me he will hold my hands and he will remind me. And he reads the Shahada in the hands of Umar bin Khattab, as he allowed him to be, you bear, you bear witness of Umar. And Umar radiallahu ta'ala, whenever he used to see him coming from a distance during the gatherings, he would get up, treat him as a VIP, he would go to him and hold his hands and kiss his hands. And he would tell people, because these are the hands Rasulullah will hold on the day of judgment. And whoever hands Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam holds on the day of judgment, he will not leave that person until he makes him into paradise. The message, respected listeners, is we put our hands in the blessed hands of Rasulullah We go in the direction he takes us. We stop at the signs he tells us to stop. We yield at the places he tells us to yield. We follow his ways and we will see how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give us success in this life, will make our lives peaceful and tranquil in this life. And he will put blessings and barakah in our lives and in our time. And we will see how Allah will reward us on the day of judgment. Sahel ibn Abdullah rahmatullah alayhi. Actually, Ibn Ibrahim ibn Adam rahmatullah alayhi, one of the great pious predecessors. He's walking in the streets of Basra in Iraq. A man comes to him and he says, Allah says in the Quran that you call unto Allah and Allah will respond to, her dua, to your du'as. I make du'a to Allah and I do not see any of my du'as being accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why is that happening? Ibrahim bin Adam rahmatullah tells him that you say your Lord is Allah but yet you do not obey his commands. You recite the Quran but you do not follow the injunctions of the Qur'an. You say you love your Prophet, yet you abandon his sunnah, his ways. You say shaitan is your enemy, still you take him as a guide. You say you love paradise, but you have not done much to prepare for it. You fear the hellfire, but you have yourself become a hostage of the hellfire. You look at the faults of other people, but you do not look but you do not look at your own You enjoy and eat from the blessings of Allah, yet you do not give enough thanks to Him. You bury your dead. You bury your dead and you still do not take lessons from Him. May Allah forgive us, respected listeners. The Sahaba, the companions of the Prophet, who love the Prophet of Allah more than their own selves, they would remember death in vain. They would remember death in weddings and Allah forgive us, we do not remember death in funerals. That is where we need to develop this love of Rasulullah in our hearts. We should make us do more good, motivate us to do good deeds and to bring that love in love of Rasulullah in our hearts. To bring that love of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa in our hearts, respected listeners. We have to sacrifice our emotions and our desires follow his beautiful ways Sahel ibn Abdullah rahmatullah says one of the signs of the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is one of the signs of love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is 
that you love to recite Quran. And one of the signs of loving the Quran is you love the Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And one of the signs of loving Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is you love, you follow his ways. You adopt his sunnah. And one of the signs of following the ways of sunnah And one of the signs of despising this world is being content and satisfied with what Allah has given us. Being content with what Allah has given us. driving the most expensive car in America or one of the expensive cars one flat tire one flat of the very expensive car it takes maybe 50 cents or a dollar or free air to put in the tire to make the car run without which the car that your expensive car will not run the feds lower the interest rates by not one person one quarter of one person it sends little effects in the financial markets of the most powerful country in the world, throughout the world actually. Elections ago, the results are coming up respectively. Imagine if the electoral votes, electoral votes become, come to balance, to, 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 to equal 269 votes for Democrats and 269 for Republicans. What is going to happen? It's a tie. And the chances it might happen, if not this time, sometimes it might happen. It might happen this time, Allah knows best. What happens? The entire house of the entire house will how what is it? House of House of entire house of representatives. The American Constitution should be in chaos to come up with the result to come up with their agreement, one electoral vote respectively. One electoral vote on the most powerful country on the planet Earth can make a difference. One Sunnah of Rasulullah One Sunnah of Rasulullah May Allah make us realize the value of Rasulullah May Allah make us realize His beautiful ways where Allah has put, like I said, peace and tranquility and success in this life and the next life. That is the currency that is going to be valid on the Day of Judgment. How much do we follow Rasulullah? Allah says, tell me if they love Allah, let them follow Rasulullah and Allah will love them and Allah will forgive them. May Allah make us Allah. إن الله يعمل بالأبي والحسان وإيتاء الشربة وينهى البحشاء والمنكى والضغي يعيدكم لا 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 تتذكرون فاكتبوا فاكتبوا وشكروا لي ولا تذكرون شو هذا السؤال